Hey everyone, Shane here with a RPG Maker video, because why not? I love it. And as many of you know from my most popular video, the Future Kids, inspired by Fire Emblem, I love messing with parameters. All of this episode is going to be about just JavaScript coding. So these two sections right here are going to be just straight up script. It turns out there's actually a limit to how much script you can use in a single event script, but it's uh, something I would have liked to be completely scripted, including the get variables for all this. That way I'm not taking up the variables in game, the, uh, the game variables, if you will. So basically, I'm still using scripting, so let's just take a look at it. Uh, game party dot members, and then because it needs to be indexed, the index is actually going to be a variable which you're not going to define, therefore it's zero. So if we're looking at it as a whole right now, it is game party dot members indexed at zero dot actor ID, meaning member zero is actually the first member, the party leader. And the reason that's important will come later. So we're going to collect information on the party leader going down from max HP all the way down to luck. And here's what this episode is all about, the class upgrade. So this is what this is. It's going to change the variable into the distance between its current class and its upgraded class. Now, if you are like me and you just make all of your classes in a straight down order, so warrior, monk, thief, black mage, white mage, red mage, Boom. But then immediately after, I went into Knight, Master Ninja, Black Wizard, White Wizard, and Red Wizard. So the distance between the initial class and the new upgraded class is 13. So if we go back and take a look at the script, it's going to be a global variable that I've called a class. And I'm going to make that equal to game actors dot actor game variables dot value one. So we're going to change the class of the party leader to plus 13. So if he's a knight, he'll, or if he's a warrior, he'll turn into a knight. I have to keep the experience on class change to be true. Following class change, what we're going to do is just set a random variable. Variable n is equal to game actors dot actor game variable value 1. Remember, it's actually plural. I didn't say plural. So game variables dot value 1. Base parameter of... 0, which is HP. So param base 0 times negative 1, because what we're doing is we're actually taking away the get the initial parameter value at the certain class, whatever that is. So if we go take a look at classes, uh, let's take a look at an actor. What do I have? Kale, he is initial level 24, and he's a warrior. So if we look at classes, warrior, HP for example, what do I say, 24? So he has 242 HP at level 24. Now, let's say at level 24, we upgrade him to knight 24, and a knight has 299 HP. So what the scripts are saying to do is change Kale from a warrior to a knight and remove his max HP of 299, and we're going to replace it with, with the initial 242. Yeah, and that's going to come after we basically make all the parameters equal to zero. So what that is, is change parameter in page one of variable actor, that way it's the actor ID, changing the max HP by a variable of the variable we called earlier here. That way the 299 is being replaced with the 242. Why is that important? important because we're going to have a value increase of plus two per level because of the class change. The amount of points gained per level up is what's changing. That is why you're going to want to create a class who's upgraded have a higher max than your warrior or your initial class. That way the rate of change per level is going to differ per classes. As I've already explained for the Warrior and the Knight, the change is an additional two points to HP every level up. Now you can modify that however you want as the designer. I've been Shane, thank you for watching.